much more interactive. The images are bigger. And of course, technology has advanced so much. You can do things now we could never have done 20 years ago. It is so cool. They have done some cool telephone where you pick it up and you hear his voice, like very cool multimedia stuff and interactive. They've really gone to the interactive and like letting you really get into those conversations and see like how he was thinking and the plans behind the wars and his uh, civil rights. And they've just really included um, the visitors to kind of feel like they're in that time period when it was actually happening. For me, the most important thing of learning about Johnson we're listening to the tapes, which I've done for a number of years. And the tapes give you living history. When, for example, he is uh, deciding not to run, uh, but before that he calls various politicians, labor leaders, and asks for their support, and they hesitate. And he, uh, you can see over a period of a month how his spirits decline. And ultimately he chooses not to run again. It's an unbelievable opportunity for people to come and see the historical things, you know, letters from Jackie Kennedy to the president after the funeral um, in her handwriting, just things that are, are really unbelievable here that are really good to see. So it's, it is a museum and it's very nice. The 60s were an incredibly interesting time leaving the president aside and I can't think of a better reason to come here than to learn about that amazing and fascinating era of our history. I want this library to be the thing that keeps those days and that history alive. And I think that the renovation does an extraordinary job of bringing all this amazing history back to life.